So hey jelly babes, so I thought I would do what's trending on Instagram at the moment which is bubble nails but I thought I'd do it with a bit of a twist where you've got this colour changing eye and I made it into a bit of a design and it's so so simple to create, you need some washing up liquid, a whisk and some water, oh and a nail lamp to cure it. <laughs> So Kirsty Meekin on Instagram was um, where I got the inspiration from and also the technique on how to do the bubble nail. She put this on her Instagram TV a few days ago and I think that's what started everybody off trying it. So I'm going to just take you through the steps. So I've put on a black polish, put two coats and cured that in my lamp. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply a layer of no wipe top coat. So I'm coming in with a chrome powder. Now I'm not sure whether Born Pretty are still doing this or not, but basically you can use any chrome powder, but that's what I've used. And I'm using Divine by Natasha Lee's pigment brush. Absolutely love her brushes, they are amazing. So I'm gonna be burnishing this into the nail. So, you know, just basically really rubbing it in well and getting rid of the excess. If you don't have any nail art brushes, you can just use your finger for this part. And I come in with my finger as well, just to make sure that it's all burnished in and all, you know, all the excess is wiped off. So now you're gonna come in and put on a layer of top coat, but you're not gonna be curing it just yet. So I'm going to show you how to make the bubble mixture now. So you want to have some water in a bowl, um, some you know washing up liquid and a whisk or a fork or whatever. And basically you want to just put the washing up liquid into the bowl and put quite a bit in here as you can see. And then you guessed it, whisk it all up. So you know just keep going until it's you know you get in. Basically view it like a meringue. Once you get in some nice soft peaks, <laughs> then you can stop. So, you know, if you need to, you can add more if you feel like you haven't got enough washing up liquid. So, as you can see here on the top of this, I've got these like peaks and that's what you're going to use. And you're going to put this over that wet top coat. So, you just want to take it now, I'm just using a knife to put it on. And basically just press it down on the nail, obviously not too much, you don't want to be touching the actual nail and just move it around so the whole nail is covered. And then once it's cured in your lamp, you come off and wipe off the excess bubbles and then you're left with this bubble effect, which just looks absolutely cool. I was actually so surprised how easy this was to create. So I wanted to create a snake design and I want to incorporate this plate that was sent from Born Pretty for review. But when I did the design, my husband actually said it looked like a dinosaur. So let me know what you think. Is it a snake or is it a dinosaur? I'm actually leaning more towards dinosaur. I think he's right. Darn him. <laughs> So I'm just going to be adding a little bit of top coat because when you do add it to this bubble effect it does kind of dissolve the look. So I just wanted it to be a little bit more flat to work with with stamping just to make it a bit easier. So I'm taking this outline image first and getting rid of the bits that I don't want and placing that on top of that cured top coat. Then I'm coming in and I'm just using um, this black. Like So obviously I'm using it black because of what I'm going to be applying next. But if you, um, you could just use like a real bright colour uh, for the eye for this purpose. But I'm using um, black because I'm going to be coming in with a new fantastic product that I've recently come across, which is Uber Chic's Moon Ring Pigment. So um, basically you just want to get some of this out of the bottle. I probably took out way too much there which is very silly of me. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna be putting this over that black part of the eye because this basically looks best over um, a black base. And I use this as well to do a galaxy nail design. If you've not seen it, I'll leave a link to it. Please go and check that out. 
So if you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you so much for coming and checking out this video. If you do like nail art related videos and reviews and things like that, please press that free subscribe button as that's um, all I feature on this channel and I'd really appreciate your support. So I'm just adding the last bit of detail. Now this was meant to look like it's not fully filled in like even on the stamping plate it's got a gap but I actually just came in with some black stamping polish and filled it in I don't know whether that ruined it or not so let me know your thoughts on this Manny if you want to recreate it um, I would love to see your recreations please tag me on Instagram at jellylicious and I'll reshare your design in my Instagram stories so thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed take care and I'll see you in the next one bye